Hackers at YouTube.com. This is Legend Bound here. I'm back to you guys once again with some smite. I was recently notified by a special someone that I needed to play some more smite. So here you go, buddy. Uh, now, here I am. I'm playing Medusa, the new hunter character. I haven't gotten a whole bunch of experience with her, but I think I know what I'm doing. We have three snakes right here. Gonna boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Uh, I think they're gonna let me get it. Okay, good. They let me get the man camp. That or I just kind of took it without asking them. If we go over the stuff, I don't. Su I suffer half movement penalty backwards. No movement penalty from left to right, so good for kiting and whatnot. And yeah, so not that bad. I'm gonna bounce around and everything. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and head into lane now. First ability, spend, uh, spit out three vipers in rapid succession. That was pretty straightforward. You can see it right there in action. The second ability, uh, hurls back and spits out acid. Okay. Uh, just explodes my statues and does damage. It's, it's a pretty straightforward ability. Um, other than this, though, not a whole lot to Medusa. Actually, gonna come in right here. Ah, uh, I. Oh, oh, couldn't get the last kill. Alright. That's cool. Went a little bit too hard on that one anyway. Gonna go ahead and prepare to pick up the Devourer's Gauntlet. Now, holy crap, it is loud. Give me two seconds to turn down this audio. It will rock at the 27%. Alright, we're good. And we head back up the lane. Now, I kinda wish that they had updated the Phoenixes on this map. Uh, you know, like they did with the season two of the initial map, kind of looks a lot nicer on the on the new map. But it's kind of like League of Legends is the exact same thing without updating their custom game maps, so you can only fault them so much. I'm right, gonna want to make sure that uh, we're not in danger right here. But uh, Medusa appears to be a pretty late game power spike type champion. She's not really that fantastic early, but uh, that's just my initial impression. I could be wrong. Uh, the Aphrodite uh, cloak field thing is kind of irritating, not even gonna lie. And I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you. Yes! 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 Oh, wow. I thought he was dead. Not even gonna lie. Alright, gonna go ahead and pick up this, pick up this. So now we have boots, and we have our full Devourer's Gauntlet, so we will only be getting stronger. Now we will sustain the lane with a decent amount of lifesteal, as well as continue to power up our lifesteal. So, very, very good. Unfortunately, I'm not doing as well as I usually do, but, you know, it's been a little while since I played Smite. Um... Other than this, so right here we have my ultimate. You can see this pr radius is pretty nice right here. Essentially, uh, Medusa removes her mask, and then, you know, uh, people who would die get turned to stone, and then that kind of like reacts off uh, this ability right here. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. We're gonna be trying to pick up as many minion kills as possible to the, do our our newfound necessity for them with the Devourer's Gauntlet. Oh gosh, we are going to run now. Goodbye. Oh gosh. Oh, that ultimate synergy is good. Really good. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Thanatos has prepared his ultimate. He might go for an assassination on someone. Now, I'm not actually sure of his ability to assassinate someone, but it looks like he's not doing too bad. Now, it also appears they didn't even get a kill. That's okay. Well, it, he didn't die, which I suppose is the important part. Let's see if we can't back him up a little bit right here. Come on. Ah. Yeah, we don't have any stacks on Devourer's Gauntlet. That's, that's actually really bad. Well, let's see if we can't fix that right here. Doom, doom, doom. There we go. Picking up a little something here and there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm sticking to my point of Medusa being more of a late game carry. Just from what I've seen so far, it, it appears to be very obvious that she's more late game focused. Because once her abilities are maxed, I see them doing a whole lot more damage than they are now. 
Uh, let's see if we can't land a little, little bit of poke right here. You cannot, unfortunately. All right, all right, all right. We're just gonna be trying, oh gosh. Minions. Lol. Boom. Yes, all right. That's not too bad. Oh, we destroyed her. Boom. Oh, double kill. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we are, we are not doing too shabby anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and power up. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, not good. Ooh, do, 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 do. Ah, oh, come on, buddy. I don't think he understands that I need to power up my Devourer's Gauntlet. I don't think he's noticing that kind of stuff. We're gonna go ahead and back away here. I think after we go back, we're gonna go ahead and try to pick ourselves up the blue buff so we can get a little bit better. Uh, reduce target's physical power. Warrior Tabby, finish picking this up right here. Gonna go ahead and try to pick up the Rage. It'll allow us to try to get crits even though we don't have a whole lot of crit due to this ability that each basic attack can increases our critical chance ability until we get a crit and then resets. So it's good for the lower amounts of crit to allow you to still get crits. You know, because if you don't get crits for a few things in a row, then your chances are you're gonna get crit in your next chance. So, you know, there's that. Looks like they're all pretty scared. I hate that ability right there. Oh, right, I, was, I just thought I was gonna pick up the blue buff. So let's go ahead and go over there and pick that up now. And dash over here, just because since we're gonna be picking up the blue buff, we're gonna try to angle this correctly. Ah, uh, that didn't actually do damage to them. Huh, funny how that works. All right, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our third ability right here. Gonna try to even out our skill points. Boom, all right. Now that we've gotten our ability right here, we're gonna go ahead and dash this way. And not too bad. Ooh, if we can just, hey, look at that. Oh shoot, wrong ability. Did not mean to use that one. I meant to use my my two move. Boom. It's actually really good damage right there. I'm good to see that we have our petrified statue. I can just jump all over this thing. Uh, right here, next mini wave. We have 33 stacks on our Devourer's Gauntlet. Not too much more until we've maxed that one out. Oh. If Thanatos decides to leave some of the minion kills for us, like, WTF, man, do you not understand what I need? Uh, I really don't think he does, though. Okay, uh, now, kind of dangerous right here, but, try to land a W just for some nice poke. And wow, the ability to move backwards is very nice. Like a path the movement speed penalty. Very good, very good, very good. Boom! In and not out. Nope, we're dead. So I see that Medusa, she kind of like goes in, and then she, she didn't, doesn't really have an escape. So when you go in, you have to make sure that you can just kill everybody. That's what I'm seeing right now. If you guys have a different analysis, I'd love to hear it down in the comment section below. So we can see, uh, uh, Scylla's an interesting person just due to the fact, oh, she's dead. Um, oh, wow, that is unbelievably lucky. Anyway, so Scylla's interesting because each time that she maxes one of her, maxes one of her abilities, so like she has five points down below right here, five, five points right here, that is when she gets a really big buff to that ability by adding a special effect to it. It's pretty cool, actually. It's uh, one of the special things about Scylla that there isn't a... Uh-oh. Hey, no. Gosh dang it, Thanatos. Bro. Oh, wow. We can actually land this right here. Uh, nope. No, okay. I, I went too hard right there. We'll just pop a few health and mana potions. We'll be back up and ready to go momentarily. Thanatos is definitely going to go over there and dive on that kill. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm actually liking liking maxing the the acid spray first. That appears to be Medusa's uh, best offensive kind of poke poke ability, and I'm, I'm really enjoying that one. Uh, let's see if we can land a strike or two here. We want to be landing strikes. 
Boom. Hey, not bad. Gotta kill him, gotta kill him, gotta kill him. No! Minion block. BS. Alright, well, we, we pretty much have this. I'm actually gonna go for a pretty hard dive in a moment right here. Or Silly will kill him. Alright. Uh, also works. Here we go. We'll go for a dive now. Boom. Alright, we go ahead and pick up that. Oh. <gasps> oh, that is so lucky. If that had been inside the circle, I would have been dead right there. Or close to it, if not dead. Alright, well, seeing as we're over here, we'll go ahead and pick ourselves. Again, Artemis is completely oblivious to our presence here. We're gonna go ahead and pick ourselves up the attack speed camp. Just for, uh. Just for giggles. And then, we're gonna, just, we're gonna come over here. You'll never see this one coming. Uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hey! In and out, in and out, go, 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 go. Got a kite, got a kite, got a kite. Hey, hey, foo. Oh crap, 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 crap. Ah, so close, so close. We, we made the play. We almost got out. That, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Let's see here. What else do we want? We're gonna go and pick up the Deathbringer, and then I believe the last item I'm going to get is one called um. Ah, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? It is somewhere down here. Hasten Fatalis. Bingo. For those of you guys who don't know what Hasten Fatalis is, Hasten Fatalis essentially, um, every time you land a basic attack, you know how like while you're attacking, see how you're slower. If you land your basic attacks while, while having haste and fatalis, you don't have a movement speed penalty. It allows for much greater chases, and it's one of my core hunter items. Like, if you're not getting haste and fatalis on a hunter, then you might not be playing it right. Oh crap. Good news is they didn't want to punish that. Because that would have been really badly for me. Good news is we have 60 stacks on our gauntlet. We've probably had that for a while now, though, I think about it. Um. Yes. No. Gosh dang it. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, bro. Hello. We have got the killing spree. Double kill. Not bad. Not bad at all. V E W. I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up this Lista as soon as possible. We might actually even be able to get the Phoenix. Two, if we're fast. I think we are fast enough. Might have to take a little bit of Phoenix damage right here. We are. But totally worth it right there. 1-1 one, one fight, and here we are with the enemy Phoenix. Mm, yeah, okay. We're going to die, but we sacrificed ourselves for the team. So it's all good. All right, right here we're going to go at and upgrade our dash ability. We are going to pick up our Hasten Fatalis. Hasten the Fatalis. Ah, oh, not enough. Gonna go ahead and pit, sell a few of our health potions then. And our mana potion. Oh, we sold too many. That's okay. Just pick that up and probably buy another health potion, even on our health and mana. And we will prepare for the respawn, which is in 20 more seconds. So, a little bit of waiting time. But it looks like this should be a pretty solid win. Um, Scylla and... Okay, okay. So let's check out how far our allies are along their build. Scylla, looking pretty good. I'm definitely furthest along, and I'm a little bit confused about Thanatos' build. These two make sense, but the Alta, uh, the Talaria boots don't really make sense. Because if you think about it, like, so Than okay, sure, with his ultimate, you do want to chase. But I mean, he's in, he's a melee person. He's in combat a lot of the time. I die. Die. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of bad with. See, see, as I'm landing my strikes, like, like right here, it's like, uh, let me, let me, see, I can just, I can just move around the map, like, I just shoot, kill, 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 and it is great. That, that and I'm actually really liking Medusa. She's quite incredibly strong. We're actually gonna come right here. Oh gosh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Or was it? Bad idea. Yeah, bad idea. 
Uh-huh. We can try to land poke on him as he's walking away. Now, another kind of thing that I kind of forgot to even, like, look at with this bill. Oh, shoot. Uh... Nope, nope, nope. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, when she comes back down, yes! Triple kill! DSI, I got all the kills, and here we go. We could probably actually look to finish the, get the game. Unfortunately, we did lose Thanatos, but, you know, some sacrifices are just simply worth making. That was pretty close right there. It was, felt good. Actually, we still have to, oh. All right, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Legend Bound here. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and peace out, everybody. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more Smite. Peace.